Affirmations is just a particular application of a thought, right? It's just out of a context used. Thoughts are everywhere, thoughts are all the time, you choose thoughts all the time, but when you consciously pick them and choose them, and or when it's expressed from an angle of personal development or you know wanting to lose weight or whatever, then they call it affirmations. But it's simply picking a thought. If what's important though is that the thought actually feels good. Because if the thought is, you know, looking in a mirror and saying how slim you are when you're seeing a fat ass that you don't enjoy, then what you generate is more of that energy of a fat ass you don't enjoy, while you're on a verbal level, then thoughts and affirmations become just thoughts. Then they become irrelevant. Then they become powerless. It has to be a whole frequency. It has to be a whole vibration. So when you're saying, when you're seeing yourself as slim in the mirror, just as a very basic example, you have to actually see yourself as slim in the mirror, regardless of how fat you actually are. Does that make sense? So if you can't see that, <laughs> don't do it. Don't even start. Because you, A, you're going to feel really bad. B, you're going to become even fatter. Which is not inherently a bad thing at all. I'm just saying it's probably not what you want, if that's even what you're doing. So you gotta, you got to be the complete vibration of that. So affirmations, as they have been previously used and suggested, often are not complete vibrations. They're just words, right? And if it, it is very painful for people because they play this game of the secret and they play this game of affirmations, but without the full understanding of it. And it's a very painful game to play if you play it with a very limited understanding of how this works. Because you start saying one thing, but you still believe another. You still feel something else. And then you only increase that contrast. And if you have no knowledge of how to get out of that, it's a very painful thing. And you actually make it worse on yourself. So whatever thought you, that's why I say the thought that you pick should feel good. Right? If the thought is, if the thought is, I look slim, but it doesn't feel good, but you think you should say the words, I am slim, because it will feel good once you are slim. Does that make sense? You're, you're anticipating a future feeling, but you're feeling miserable in the now. If you're feeling miserable in the now, what you're attracting to yourself, the way you're, you're resonating your frequency into the matter that is presence energy that will then shape reality is of a quote unquote negative nature because you don't feel good. So the thought that you have should feel good. doesn't matter what the thought is. Here's the, that's the secret. It doesn't matter what the thought is. It can be anything. It can be, I like eating worms while I'm standing on a hand, a single hand. I'm just standing on one hand and I'm eating worms. If that thought brings you pleasure, that's way more powerful than saying, I am slim. It's way more productive. You'll actually lose weight from the first thought and you'll gain weight from the second one. Does that make sense? So it's all about the frequency. It's all about the vibration. So if you want to lose weight, eat worms. They're full of protein. Um, think, this sounds very cheesy, but think positive thoughts. And by positive thoughts, I mean thoughts that actually feel completely good, that ground you in a reality, that make you a complete resonant chamber of that which you truly are. So pick a thought that represents who you truly are, such as, I'm infinitely abundant. I am amazing. It doesn't matter what my mind suggests. I can create anything I want. It doesn't matter what circumstances are here. I am free. Those type of thoughts, you know, those fundamental thoughts, not just, oh, I am slim or I'm driving a Ferrari or these things are usually, if people get into that sort of um, wordy type of affirmations, they've usually missed the point already. They're usually already not completely clear on who they want to be. So first be completely clear on who you want to be. If that is to drive a Ferrari and lose weight, that's absolutely excellent. But still pick a thought. If the thought you're having has nothing to do with the Ferrari and has nothing to do whatsoever with losing weight, but it feels great, you're actually on your way to getting the Ferrari and losing weight if that's actually of your resonance. Whereas if you keep thinking, oh, I want to drive that Ferrari Oh yeah, but I don't really believe I have the money for it. I want to lose weight, but oh, I've tried this for three months or three years or 30 years and it's not working. Okay, I'm slim. I'm driving a Ferrari. Ooh, oh, oh, I'm slim. Oh. Then what you're, what you're attracting to yourself is a crappy Mazda from 1960s and, you know, a really enormous body. <laughs> so if you're thinking something completely unrelated, but it feels good, it will naturally lead you to the things that represent who you truly are. So in a sense, you don't even have to worry about what it is that you want. Worry about who it is that you want to be, right? As an energy, as a frequency output of creation. 
as an individual expression of consciousness. What do you want to be? Who do you want to be? And then what you want to have will naturally, you know, it will have to respond to that. So it will come on its own accord. Doesn't mean you can never visualize it, especially if the visualization is a representation of abundance and it makes you feel connected to who you truly are. By all means, use that symbol. But know that it's about the vibration. It's not about the image. It's not about the outcome. It's not about whether or not it will actually manifest in that way. It's about whether or not you're mastering your frequency right now, whether or not you're picking the right thought in this moment. How do you know? It feels amazing when you do it right. It feels terrible when you do it wrong. As simple as that. We're kids. We're all kids of creation and the creator treats us as kids. It gives us two things in all of creation, two experiences, positive and negative, aligning and out of alignment. How simple do you want to get? It? We make it so complicated. Still, out of these two elements, we make it so complicated. We're being treated as toddlers already. If you feel bad, you're doing something wrong. If you feel great, you're doing something right, or you're thinking something right, or you're seeing something right, more accurately spoken. Not so much doing or not doing something right or wrong, that doesn't really exist. But you're seeing things in alignment or you're not seeing things in alignment. If you don't see things in alignment, you'll feel bad. If you see things in alignment, you'll feel great. <laughs> Can we draw a picture of this? Yes, yes. Let's color a picture of this. That's exactly. We're being treated as kids, but in a good way. I mean, it's kept simple because reality itself is very varied. That's why the core principles need to be very simple. Otherwise, it couldn't sustain itself on such an immense, massive scale. The core fundament, fundamental principles need to be very, very simple so that expression and expansion and experience can become very, very varied and you can really master that experience.